forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. Hi everybody, Laura Jean. Welcome to my page, Laura Jean's Read Room. I am. Let me find my live. I forgot to shut off my phone and my husband's phone. Yay. Ah, oh, what a day, what a day. I got a new dog, so uh, it's been quite um, a big dog, a very big dog. It's been quite a busy day. Hi, Debbie. Hello, hello. So, I'm going to try to make a snowman cupcake. I was going to try to practice it before I came, but I just did it. So, let's pray it comes out. <laughs> Jillian is really good with the um, foam clay. I, with figurines, like characters. I figured, I can't go wrong, a snowman, right? We'll see. Hi, Tracy. Yes, you caught me live. Hi, Anne. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Christine. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind sprinkling the love, I'd appreciate it. Sharon is Karen. Um, it just helps people find me. I'm not sure my moderator will be on tonight because it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Kara. Maybe they went to dinner or something. I didn't message her. Hi, Gail. So, you guys, I'm using uh, our foam clay from Two Party Chicks. Uh, it's air dry foam clay. It's just like the same stuff everybody else is selling. And I think I'm using red, grass green, and white. So we're going to try to do a snowman. Now, this bowl is from Hobby Lobby. They, Hobby Lobby sells these. Um, and I was thinking of putting it in here, like a cupcake. But then I saw this. This is smaller, though. I don't know. Hi, Kim. How are you? Thank you, Tracy. So, I kind of like this one. Because I'm using these a 4-inch ball and 3-inch balls for the snowman. Hi, Janet. Hello, hello. I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. So, it can sit in here. What do you guys think? Which one? You decide. <laughs> These, this one's from the Dollar Tree. I didn't paint it, though. I think we'll just do this one. It's bigger. You can, uh, you can never go wrong with doing bigger. So, hi, Mary. Hi, Debbie. All right, so, I, you guys, I already cut. I, he's not the greatest. I should cut another one down, but I don't want to waste my balls. <laughs> So again, I'm using one four inch ball and then two three inch balls. They're like 2.9. Hi, Clara. And these are, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I just took my serrated knife, kitchen knife, and on the four inch, I cut it in half where the little equator line is. Can you see that? That line. So I followed it and cut it in half. But I feel like I got, see how it's slanted? We'll do, we'll do it again. I did really bad on that cut. This knife is a little wobbly, though. So, let's do that. I'm going to cut this in half. I, actually, I'm going to go a little bit over than half. Maybe a little bit. Let's try to cut it straight, though. I bent my knife, so it's cutting it crooked. And I do have a foam burner that I should just use, but I don't want to break it out. <laughs> Not everybody has them, so I'm just going to use a knife. I had to put our new dog, a chocolate lab. She's a rescue. Well, she's rehomed to us. She's 14 months old. And she's gigantic. But... I don't trust her to leave her outside by herself, you know, in the house. So I had to put her in great. She's very quiet, though. Alright, so I just cut that. Oh, I hate styrofoam. It just goes everywhere. And I think I'll go with these two. These two are fine. I just cut that one really bad. Thank you, Debbie. She is pretty. I, I, she's, I don't usually let her in my craft room because, again, it's, it's still a puppy and she's giant. 
up, but I let her in here a few minutes ago. But she wants to play with Louie so bad. But, you know, she's got gigantic paws. He's old and like 10 pounds. So he wants nothing to do with her. She won't leave him alone. And the poor cats are terrified. I miss my cats. Yeah, she's definitely a puppy for sure. <laughs> All right. So I cut that almost in half. Then on the four inch balls, I didn't want them to sit like round. So I cut just a small piece off each side. So this ball, whoops, where's the one I just cut? And I'm gonna cut a piece off this top so it sits more flat onto it. God, my cuts suck, they're not even even. going to be a lopsided snowman. Alright, and I'm using a low temp glue gun. So on the 4 inch one that I cut, I'm going to cut a little piece off the top so that round ball sits more flat. Just a small little piece. I cannot cut this straight. <laughs> If I draw on a straight line, I just can't do it. Yeah. Try it this way. Alright, well, so we're going to sit, and then again, I cut the top of that, so they sit like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other one. But the other one you only cut one side. You're not going to cut both. Oh, where's my brush? She's super cute, though. She's super cute, but she's, she's pretty quiet. But, you know, she gets her puppy spurts. Where she's high energy, bouncing off everything. And I had to have a sectional couch. I had to, so the couch sits on a half wall that's opened and goes to the kitchen counter. And if I walk out the room and come back in, she's on my kitchen counter. Like literally standing on the kitchen counter. She did that like eight times. So I had to break my sectional off and turn it that looks stupid just so she can't get on the counter. I don't care though. She's so cute. Hi Tracy. So... We're going to set that one on. We're going to glue that, but we're going to cover these in foam first. And then the top ball, I only took a little piece off. You leave this end round, okay? So the four inch, you're cutting half and half, and then you're taking a little piece off the top. The three inch, you're cutting each side so they're flat. And then it's going to sit just like this, okay? But before we do all that, I just want to show you how I did that. I'm going to take this bowl. And it's, it's cute just like this. I think they're super adorable. I thought as soon as I seen it, oh, big cupcakes. Because I love anything huge. Bigger is better. And I'm going to take uh, green. Now, I bought a bag of popsicle sticks from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. And they were red and green. Uh, the fat ones. So, and then I had, you know, non-colored ones. And I painted one side white. So I cut these down, one side off, because I'm going to glue these, and I think I did these before on, a, on something. We're going to glue them red, white, or green, white. I was going to do red, but I did green. So we're going to glue them all the way around, just like this. I hope this comes out. <laughs> and so I just determined how, how tall I wanted it. So you want the bottoms flat, and I just want that little round piece sticking up a little bit above here. So I just lined it up where I wanted it, and then I took my um, pliers, and I snipped it. Okay, so that's how I cut them. So let's glue them on. I'm using, again, low temp glue. Hi, JC. I am going to attempt to make a snowman cupcake. We'll see how it goes. Juliana's really good at the um, character figures. 
I don't, I mean, I've done them on tutorials, not on lives, because I'm not the greatest. I don't make them a lot. She's really good with play work. All right, so I'm just going to start gluing these around, praying that it's straight. Now, there is a little lip on this cup. It's got like a little lip, but it's fine. So I'm just going to alternate the colors. I should have probably did half of them so you don't have to watch me do this. And if you want, you can also... Yeah, see, they're not straight. Huh. You can paint this if you don't want to see that color um, behind it, behind your sticks. I have a hard time getting anything straight. <laughs> so let's let's see how this goes. I'm hoping Mike is home soon because I'm trying to keep the big dog, the new dog, on a routine. Hold on guys, I'm just trying to finish this down straight. We're gonna have spaces in between because it's not going straight. So I, see, that's why I said you should paint it, because you might see a little green behind it. But I didn't paint mine. Oh, I hate glue webs. <laughs> I'm a little weirder when it comes to the glue webs. I know earlier Juliana was cleaning out her whole crack from melting to death, so... Yeah, these aren't going on straight. Hmm. What am I doing wrong, guys? I think I needed to angle the bottoms, but I'm just going to space them a little. Oh, can someone sit here and blow dry me while I'm doing this? I hate blue lips. I hate the feeling of them. They freak me out. Yeah. Alright, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. They're just not going on that straight. What am I doing wrong? I did this before. What did I do before? Well, then I got to re glue a couple. I'll get them straight, I think. <laughs> but uh, if any of you guys need clay, uh, I have it in my Etsy shop. We have 29 different colors. I can't get it straight. So smart. Uh, going back to work. Hi, Trisha. Ah, uh, go back to work, girl. Have you sold out of any colors yet? No. Um, a few of them are getting a little lower. Um, uh, but I didn't. Certain colors I didn't buy a lot in because I just wasn't sure. So we'll see which ones sell out. And, and sold the most of, and those are probably be the ones I restock. But I'm not used to shipping smaller items. I usually ship just big rigs. I don't usually sell supplies and things. So, um, it's a little confusing trying to figure out the shipping, you know, because someone went by one and someone went by ten. And Etsy is supposed to calculate, yeah, this isn't working. It's, maybe we should do this one. This one will stay straight. This one is not staying straight because it goes out. Oh, someone's here. I can't get across. It's not working. Not this one. 
they're going completely crooked. I mean, I can do the red in between them, but that one's way too crooked. Hey, baby, home? Yeah. Hey, I just put... Uh, if you let him out, can you just shut this door right here so he doesn't come in here? Because I'm not... I'm not going to have a lot of room on this one. We're going to do this one, though. Because that's not... It's too spaced out. It's not working. Oh, you're super good. I feel like all my tutorials are hot mess. Maybe I should just stick to doing race, right? <laughs> I was going to do a wreath, but I was like, eh. I got to do a wreath tomorrow for tutorials. And I was like, eh, I don't want to do a wreath. I got to make one tomorrow. All right, I'm going to switch it because I don't like how those are laying. Don't know until you try. All right, we're going to go to the little Dollar Tree thing. Let's try it again. Oh, I got to stick them all down now. I hope you guys are bored. Huh. Alright, we're just gonna get the ones. I gotta snip them all down, they're too long. <laughs> Let's do. I was thinking of leaving the top on and doing this as like the frosting on the top. But I don't know. You won't see it. With the sticks. Should we just eliminate the sticks? Oh, I gotta cut them all down again. Well, alright, I'm gonna use that as an example. Sample. I have to cut them all, guys. I wasn't sure how many I needed either. The snowman, I just want to really do is the snowman's hat. But I don't know how this is going to come out. We're just going to try, okay? Not everything I do comes out. But, you don't know until you try. Shouldn't be afraid to try to do things. And even if you don't do it the first time, just keep trying until you get it right. Trust me, I've redone things like eight times sometimes. Well, no, if I had to do something eight times, I probably would have ran it over. <laughs> Let's cut these down to fit that. Because those just, uh, I think the shape of the container is not letting them sit straight. And I need them straight. So, the cupcake I'm trying to make, I actually, I think they're Raz Cupcakes. Uh, the design I'm kind of copying a little. They're so cute though. I need to make things that fit on these shelves because everything I keep making does not fit on them and that was the whole purpose of them. But I don't really like small things. I think that's why Julie and I click, because Juliana likes large stuff, and so do I. But they don't fit on those shelves. I'm almost ready to sh uh, put up a... What are those things called? You know, the big backdrop things? Because all my cakes don't fit on there. They're too tall. And on the shelves over there, I have a whole bunch of shelves on each side over there. Um, only the top shelves fit tall stuff, not the medium ones. And that was the whole point of all these shelves, was for my cakes. And I can't get them on them. All right. I don't think we need too many of these. So let's try I'm going to just do this one, guys. Try this again. If this doesn't work, well, then I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> white. So I'm just alternating the green, white, 
green and white. Yes, see, those are going straight. Yay! I like the shape of that bowl, though. We'll do something else with that. We'll figure it out. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just focusing. Oh, thank you, Judy. Hi, Judy. How are you, sweetie? Give the kids my love. Someday I'm going to come back and visit you, Judy. Someday. I'm trying to win the billion dollars. My son went to visit some... He went with his friend this summer down to Mississippi. And he loves it down there. He's going, he's going down there for the whole summer next year. That's how much he liked it. And then they, they did a day trip to NOLA. Yay, they're straight. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's cute so far. Get off me, glue. Yes, Judy. I will. I'll, I'll, I'm coming back someday. I love it there. I love Nola. I win that billion dollars, girl. Me and Kayla are going to Greece, London. <laughs> We're just going to travel. Can you believe it's a billion dollars nobody's hit? I've already spent a fortune on this thing. The mega million. I won 55 on a scratch off and I was so excited. Could you imagine if I won like a billion dollars? I'd probably die of a heart attack. Mike's like, please click one lump sum first. <laughs> I can't believe how high it is. It is crazy. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh, you did? Good, good. Hopefully I don't mess it up. A couple orders. I guess I forgot to keep a couple bags. And you know what it is? I figured it out after. A little late. Again, I don't sell things. I sell one size box race. Hi, Tom. How are you, sweetie? Um, you know, I usually just sell race. I, I normally don't sell supplies like clay or ribbons or anything. Um, well, it said four. Like it's not on someone's order. It says four. So I'm like, all right, four, four clays. They ordered four clay. And then I go look at the colors. White, pink, um, purple, and yellow. Whatever. Well, Ding Dong didn't look at quantity. <laughs> yeah. It's four colors they ordered. But some of them, and, and I think if you ordered like two orange, they should say five instead of four. Well, I didn't notice that, and I missed a couple. So now i got to send them out. So I won't make that mistake again. Oops. <laughs> How much are the tickets for each? Oh. Um, I don't know, Karen. I just go and I say, like, I want, like, $40 or $60, and... Um, I don't even fill the card out. I just let the lady do the quick pick through the machine. And I usually get um, 40 or $60 in quick picks and then scratch-offs. Alright, we just got to cut down a couple more. Uh-oh. Do I don't have a sample one? Uh-oh. My bad. Um, yeah, but if I don't get anything this time, I'm over it. I was like, I don't know why you play that. You're not going to win. Well, you know what? The person that won didn't said, probably said the same thing you did. $2 a ticket. Thank you, Tom. They're $2 a ticket. Yeah, I just say a certain amount and then she runs it. And you used to be able to say on the ticket if you wanted one lump sum or payments. And they don't do that here in New York, New York. There she is. All right, honey. Yeah, I told them that you wouldn't be on it. It was your birthday. Happy birthday, Kara. Everybody wish Kara happy birthday. 
Thanks, sweetie. Thanks for jumping on and sharing me. I appreciate it. Have fun. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kara. Happy birthday to you. And many more. I know. I'm stupid. I sing birthday songs to everybody. They wait for them. Can't sing. I wish I was a singer. We're going to have a green extra green, but that's okay. Oh, look, and they fit perfectly. Let me turn this one. I always got this stuff all over. Enjoy your birthday. So we got that. There's our pencil holder. <laughs> Laura Jean is a win. Is a win. Comes to go shopping at the Christmas store. Oh, Tom, if you want that much money, you don't want to go to the Christmas store. You want to go to market, okay? You don't want to go to the Christmas tree store. But if you win, Tom, I will go to market with you and you can pay. <laughs> I would love to go to market. Oh my goodness, that's like a dream. Thank you, Margaret. Hey, hey, Karen. All right, so we got our cute little pencil box that we're gonna make into a cupcake. So I should have, oh, I can use this. Like, I'm gonna, I should have, I should have drew that out first before I put those on so I know how big the opening was. Hold on, let me get some. Uh, I might have one that fits. That's too small. Let's see. Oh, I can put that in there. There we go. Oh, this is the piece. This is the uh, leftover piece from the ball. I'm going to shove that in there. So I'm going to hit some glue around the sides. Again, I always use low temp lately on everything because I burn myself a lot. Low temp's still hot, but not as hot as the surface of the sun with the other ones. And I gotta go the other way. Can't always do that. Right in there. So now we're going to cover our snowman. So I'm going to use, get out there. Actually, will that fit? Where's my big ball? Oh, look, it's going to fit right on top of it. <laughs> Alright. Let me wipe this off because foam clay will take all this with it. I remember the first time I seen someone doing a live, they were in their kitchen, and they were sweeping all the stuff to their floor, and I was like, are you sweeping all that on their, on your floor? And they're like, yeah, I vacuum after. Well, I get it now, because I, I do the same thing. Hold on, guys, I need some coffee. All right. So, two crafty chicks, foam clay. <laughs> Guys, I have so much foam clay. I really want it out of my garage. It's taken up my whole supply room. Like, it's so hard to walk out there and find things. So, this is super stretchy foam air dry clay. And you still want to condition this clay. Now, you don't have to warm it up and condition it like you would Model Magic clay. But you still want to condition it a little. Pop all those air farts out of there. Close this bag a little. Okay. I love playing with this stuff. It's like taffy. You want it, that's what you want it to look like. Taffy, stretch like taffy. Thank you. Okay, hold on, I gotta look. 
Marzabel? Marlabel? 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 Mars. Whatever. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. I suck at pronouncing stuff, guys. I'm so sorry. My dad always looks at me like I'm stupid. So like, whatever. I have my own language. You guys all understand it, right? She said, Mom, they're not laughing with you. They're laughing at you. Isn't she so rude? Hi, Wendy. Holla. Hi, Diane. Australia. Hi, Carrie. Got Australia in the house. That's uh, somewhere I'm going to go if I win the Mega Million. I'm going to go see you, Carrie. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to flatten this down and roll it out. Now, you don't have to have these super thick. You just want to cover that foam, or the ball. Get all those air bubbles out of there. Lots of bubbles, tiny, tiny bubbles. All right, I'm gonna get my tool because that's a little too big. Let's cut this baby. All right, I'm just gonna turn the bottom on this one. We're gonna pick this up. I'm gonna lay it. I should cut those sides down. Pull the sides down. I was trying not to let it overlap, but I did. If you don't let it overlap, you can just pull it straight down and then tear off that bottom. Now, I try not to touch this because you get fingerprints in it and then you got to break out the water and smooth it all out. And I didn't bring water in here. So, we're going to set that. You can see that's not exactly straight. Let's put some glue all in here. snowman. He was supposed to look like a melting snowman. That's why, because he was going in a bigger container. But we switched it. Not sure how it's going to come out. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put my camera down there. You guys don't need to see me. You need to see what I'm doing. Whoa, I almost lost my chocolate. And a cricket. Sorry, I hate when I'm cricket. And I'm still cricket, but whatever. Alright. If you get fingerprints in your clay, just you can take dip your hands in water and smooth that all out. I don't have any in here. So let's roll out the next one. We're going to make it look cute, guys. It's not exactly the way it was supposed to be, but we're going to wing it. Hi, Diane. How are you, sweetie? Hello, hello. You guys enjoying um, summer because... I feel like it's going by so fast, it's almost over. And I get winter depression, so I'm really, you know, I mean, I'm used to the four seasons because I grew up with it. And I love at the end of summer, because summer you're so busy. Yard work, the pool, I had camp, I don't have camp no more, so, um, you know, housework, the business. I mean, I'm just so busy. I'm really haven't started my remodeling stuff. I need to get back to that. So when winter comes, I'm like, yay. But uh, I feel like summer's going so fast. Remember when you were younger, how long days took? I swear to God, the days were so long. And I, I feel like I wake up, I do like two things, and it's already seven at night. I'm like, what? I don't get it. The older time does fly by, boy. So we're going to grab the other ball, again, the one that's cut two times, okay? The one that's rounded on top is the top one. Lay that over it. Just bring the whole thing down. I'm going to try to pick it back up. Just pull those down. Oh, I touched it. I'm just trying not to touch it. So then we're going to set this one 
Again, you can smooth it all out with water. Looking like a snowman. He's a little cricket. <laughs> Alright. So again, let's roll it out again and we're going to cover that last piece. Where did it go? Where's the one with the rounded? Did it fall? it already. Alright. And you guys, if you want to just waste all your foam clay, you could just make big giant balls. But that's just, you don't need to do that. You can cover with the balls so you don't have to use a lot of your foam. Your foam clay. I think that's big enough. Stretch it a little. Stretch. Pull it all down. I really try not to touch it. So I don't have to use the water. But... Let's take this one. He's a big snowman. <laughs> He's a big giant snowman. Maybe we'll give him a scarf. Let's do, let's give them little arms. So I'm going to give them some little arms. So I'm going to take a piece of my, let's do a little ball. Let's roll it a little. Let's cut it in half evenly. because I gotta put gloves on them too. Make them a little shorter. We're gonna stick one on each side. These little nubs. <laughs> oh dear lord. I really gotta practice um, making these kind of things because I really don't. Julian is really good at the play work. Hello. Now I know that looks bumpy, you guys. When this dries, it won't be as bumpy. And again, you can smooth it out um, with water. I should go grab a little bit of water. I got coffee. Alright. So, let's do his gloves. Let's give him little red gloves. And we'll do a red scarf. Right? Should we do red or green? I'm very matchy, but I'm trying not to be so matchy because I would have did green. <laughs> I'm so freaking matchy. It's horrible. Thank you, Margaret. Let's hope it, it looks cute in the end. <laughs> All right. Let's move him over a little. Uh, all right, let's warm this up. Condition it out a little. Right, again, I'm gonna roll. Let me just take a piece. We're gonna do the gloves first. Snowmans are always bumpy, but mine are outside. I haven't built a snowman in a couple years. Well, I do a little snowman near my smoking station. 
He sits on my table, he's like this tall, and he has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. I call him my snow, smoking buddy. And then he melts, and then I have to make him again. <laughs> but I nor I used to make him all the time outside. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not doing I'm doing a glove. Sorry, I forgot what I was making. <laughs> All right, let's roll this out evenly. I just want them to be even. That's probably still too much. All right, so I'm going to make like a circle. And then I'm going to pat it down. I'm planting it so one side's more rounded and this goes more skinny but I'm gonna cut this off a little still too big I'm gonna so it looks just like this and then I'm gonna put a little slit for the thumb um, I'm gonna separate that now and shape it I thought he was gonna be a lot smaller but he's pretty big down a little. I still got too much play. Alright. Juliana's not um, watching. She ain't gonna want her to laugh at me. <laughs> I turn my hands at making foam dolls for the first time. It's her. You did? I know. They're hard. I tried it that one time. Oh, Lord Jean, is a snowman for sale? Tom, I haven't even finished them. He might look horrible. Um, no, I just do them for tutorials. I really haven't listed anything I've made so far. I got five resists, so I've got a list. I haven't listed the last, I haven't listed my last five briefs I made. I gotta get them listed. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a slump. I don't know what it is. It's like, Lord, why are you making them if you're not going to list them for tutorials? But I have a room full of briefs. All right. Is that too big? I feel like that's too big. Let me cut it down a little more. It's a little fat. Alright. What way should this thumb be up? By chance, do you live in... I live in New York. I live in upstate New York. Near Syracuse. Like 17 minutes out of Syracuse. Thumbs are up, right? Thumbs are up. Well, let's see. I think that's, is that too big? It's kind of big, huh? He's got big hands. He's a big hand. You know what they say about big hands, right? Well, we're going to say he's whimsical. Anytime I mess something up, I call it whimsical. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I think I need it. I didn't get my nap today. I'm feeling a little silly. All right, and then the problem is you've got to make them both the same size. Um, I finally just did. I finally just did. I made it for no more of Oh, too big. I know, Tom. I know this. Listen, mittens are big, though. Mittens are supposed to be big. Right? He's got big mittens on. His hands are in the mittens. Sip it, Tom. <laughs> I told you, I'm not... I can do these things on tutorials because I, you know, can keep recording it until I get it right. But I, I, I don't really do a lot of clay work. Cakes and stuff, but not little... Well, he's not that little. All right, then you got to get them both the same freaking size. That's where I really struggle. I kind of want to give him like, hey, thumbs up. He's hitchhiking. Can I get a ride? <laughs> he hit, hit there. But I can't get that one to look like the other one. What's the problem? Hold on, guys. I'm just playing. Tom's laughing at my glove. They're mittens. Is that the same? Whatever. We're just going to stick it on. Listen, I'm just doing this. You guys are like the professionals. <laughs> you figure it out. You get it the right size. It's still too big, Tom. 
They're bigger than his arm. He's my big mitten snowman. No, it's fine. Alright. Let's give him a scarf. Uh, what did you put on the balls? Oh, Donna, uh, the balls are covered in uh, air dry foam clay. Uh, I sell this um, at Two Crafty Chicks' Mine and Juliana's group. And I sell uh, foam clay in my Etsy shop. We have 29 different colors. So I covered the balls in foam clay. Alright, we're going to give him a scarf. So let's roll the dough. Let's roll the dough. And let's cut it. Right, I'm gonna flatten it a little bit, but let me make sure this should be long enough. Alright, I'm gonna flatten it. I'm just gonna push down on it. Make it more flat, like a scarf. And I'm thinking if I want to do his, let's flatten that side and this side. I don't know if it's long enough, but I can pull it. I'm going to put little V's, I'm going to cut out little V's, I think. I kind of like the finger. Hold on, I'll show you as soon as I get it out. Okay, it too much. All right, let me start that over. <laughs> That's not what I need a different tool. I need a different tool. Let's look at my different tool. Let me try this one. scarf like and I might add these on separately because I didn't cut them deep enough. Hold on. Ah, get out there. These look like little fingers. <laughs> Struggle is real. Oh shoot. <laughs> All right. You know, he's got little fingers. He's got little fingers on the end. <laughs> I normally add these on, not this way, but whatever. Trying it differently. Some, some people I see doing play work. It, I don't know how you guys get your fingers on these small little things. I can't do it. I'm like my dog with the big paws. I just can't do those detailed tiny things. Alright, see he's got little... So I'm just going to wrap that around. Oh. fingers. It looks like someone's hugging him. <laughs> Ew, dear Lord. Alright, just look at the scarf, guys. Alright, let's focus on the hat. Alright, let's do the hat. Oh, I don't like that. I'm just gonna put those together. They look like fingers. Did not come out. I 
I need water. I was about to lick my finger. I won't. Alright. I really want to do that. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take green. Let's take green. Oh, this scarf is horrible, guys. They should have did it the way you normally do. Look, I lost like 30 people. They were like, dear Lord, help this girl. <laughs> Let's take uh, green. And I'm just going to roll little... I'm going to roll out a little strip to wrap around his glove. To put right around the trim. The trim. I gotta practice making gingies without using cookie cutters. I see people doing them, they look so easy. But I know when I try to do it, it's not gonna look good. Like all my drawings um, of characters are like stick figures. I have a feeling that's how they're gonna look with my phone clay. Because I'm not that very patient person. See, so we're just going to give it a little trim around his gloves. Do his hat though. Uh, all right. I think for the hat, I'm gonna do him. I'm gonna do the hat. I'll probably use all three colors, so let's close it up. Let's do the hat. Mm, I kind of want him like my gingerbread hat, so I'm looking. to do, I'm going to use green. So I'm going to make like a circle. Let's flatten it down. He's got to be bigger. He's got a big head. super thin. And I'm going to get my circle cutters to circle it out better. And I need them. Where am I going? Why do I need this one? Why? Why? Oh. So we have a circle. That's going to be his hat, the, br the brim of his hat. And then we're going 
gonna just take, I don't, I didn't find anything to use for the, so I'm just gonna take a big clump. Roll it, make sure you're conditioning it first. The more you condition it, the less it'll crack. This stuff dries a lot faster than all your other clays. And these are 500 gram bags. So there's a lot of clay. Alright, so let's take this one. Uh, I know I have little um, round things and I don't see them in my drawer. They're probably going to stand behind me now. So on Amazon, I ordered, there's like, um, different cut sizes. There's like triangles, squares, there's like all different shapes. I got those on Amazon. So I was going to do something with them. I have to order more because I'll be using them for other things. That's too tall, so let's cut this down a little. I'm just going to cover this in foam. I might have to make that just bigger now. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna flatten it a little. Hmm. Let's cut this piece down. All right. Let's cover this up with our foam clay. Let me move this. I lost my perfect round circle. <laughs> That's all right, though. All right. Let's roll this one out. Where's my roller? So we're just going to cover that. So I'm literally just going to set this like this. Oh, it's already stuck. Now, I'm not really worried about what the top looks like because we're going to have stuff all in there, so I'm just going to pull some of this off. And I don't worry about the bottom because you're not going to see it. Let's cover that. Let's go. Uh, when you're... I should have put glue down because... Got air bubbles in there, so make sure you're getting those bubbles out. Gotta pop those bubbles. Alright, that's good. Oh, there's a bubble. Get out! Get out, bubble. I keep getting air bubbles! Hi, Cindy! How are you, sweetie? Set this. Pull out this clay off. We'll do it again. <laughs> We're gonna get there, guys. The hat's gonna be the cutest. I don't know about the snowman, but the hat will. I think. I need water. I gotta go get water. Is this big enough now? No. I gotta make that a little bigger. It's not gonna be too big. It's gonna have a huge hat with this huge gloves. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. That's okay, sweetie. You can watch the replay. You didn't miss anything. You just missed me being a hot mess again. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a bigger circle. As soon as the thickness I wanted it. Where's my circle? 
Oh, you kidding me? Come on. Let go. Let go. Alright, let's move that out. I'll have something going around the sides of it so I'm not really, really worried about the edges. Probably the same size it was the first time, huh? <laughs> a little big. I set that right there. Push it down. I'll lift it up. All right, I'm gonna take red. We're gonna roll out. Some red to go around the lip of that hat, the brim. I'm going to do a little red around the brim. I should have did the hat light and then did green stripes. That's what I should have did. Bend that brim and make it more bend if you want. So it's getting there. Let's do, I think I'm going to do, uh, let's do some, I'm going to do a red stripe and then a very thin white one. This is going to be funny. Anita, anything that doesn't come out always I call whimsical. <laughs> All right. Let's cut. So I'm just going to start cutting some lines up the hat. I'm flattening them down a little. And then, where's my little scissors? Right? So we're going to do those little lines up them. We're going to space them out. That was, I should have did them a little skinnier. Just doing it like that, okay? We're gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna go all the way around.
I hope it comes out cute. One can only pray. I can do one or two more in there, and then I'm going to put white up each side of the red. Very thin. I need one more. I should have paid attention to how I was spacing those. So it's, it looks like this right at the moment. So we're going to put some white trim. Let me just try to see something. Oh. Let's grab the lights. Super thin. Stop sticking to me. It's gonna take forever. The white going up each side. I'm cricket though. Totally cricket. So let me just finish that. I'm just gonna do the front side for now. Because this is taking me quite a minute. Now you guys can be a little bit neater than I'm being right at the moment, if you make one. I can't, I can't get this, um, who is live? Hi Jesse. I'm still live. Who, who's, who else is live? Someone else live? Did you, who's live? What are y'all talking about? My lines are just fucking crooked as can be. Yeah, that's right. Hi, Michelle. Hi, sweetie. I love you. It's my sister, Shell. Michelle. I'm trying to get her to set up a YouTube channel, guys, because my sister is an amazing cook. And she loves to cook. I don't. <laughs> I don't like to cook at all. Um, and she would do really good on a YouTube channel. Because she's very social. She's very pretty. But, you know, you can only tell people. Jesse. Um, I thought she was in the movie. 
Love you too, sweetie. Jesse, you think I'm not live? I'm live, girl. I'm just not talking. <laughs> I'm focused. I'm winging something, and I should have just did it right there. Every time I think I'm going to wing something, it's going to be fast. It's never fast. All right, guys. I'm kind of being just sloppy right now, which is annoying me. So, you know, get the white to pop that. I'm going to do just a couple more. I'm not going to do the back back. Because I'm taking too long. Did Mike go to bed with the dog? I make, um, Mike bring the dog to bed with him. Alright, so, you know, it just pops it. Make your lines and stuff straight. I'm just trying to hurry and I'm slow. Alright, so now we're going to take, we're going to use white. And we're going to do little marshmallows. It's an itty bitty marshmallows. So, I'm trying to like copy my, so we're just going to roll out, squish them down. And I'm going to set one in one ways. Just make like a log and then squish it down and go in a circle. Make a marshmallow. Let's have some standing up. Thank you, Michelle. Well, I mean, I want to... We're winging this, sweetie. We'll see how it comes out. Let's do one over there. them in all different sizes. Oh god, hi T. Oh Jesus. Hi T. I'm just gonna say T. I know we've gone over this, but I suck. a marshmallow hat. I really wish I would have did the hat white instead of green. I don't know why I did that. So I'm just like stacking them in different sizes and shapes, or not shapes, I mean it's a marshmallow, but different sizes, some are standing up, some are laying down, 
make that one a little bit smaller. So it's this marshmallow hat. You can even stick one down around the bottom. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little trim piece around the bottom. Let's do white. Let me do a white trim because there's too much green. So again, I'm just going to make a roll it out to a thin strip. marshmallow down near the bottom. I appreciate you guys staying on with me. <laughs> Sticking longer than I thought it would be. I don't know why I'm so slow. I think after four years I get quicker. I watched Amy make a wreath in 45 minutes. That would have took me like two hours. <laughs> I don't understand how people are so quick. I'm just going to put one down on the bottom. Then we're just going to stick this right. It's kind of drying, so I'm going to try to push it. Ah. Don't mess it up. Again, if you want, give your hat some waves. It's totally up to you. So he's got his little hat on. side of it. Alright, so for the eyes, you can use um, black mono magic clay and roll up some beads. I just brought in puffy paint. I was just going to use puffy paint, but let's give them some buttons. And I think I'm going to do, do I want to do that? Hmm. Hold on, I want to see something. I don't know if I want to. Let me just roll this out real quick. Let it go, let it go. I'm thinking of doing like a whimsical. take. I wish my pizza cutter was in here and it's not. I have a little pizza roller for my stuff and I don't know where it is. I can't find it. Let's just use this. So I'm just going to do the whimsical shape. I was thinking of putting this around the bottom of him. Mm. Let's do, I mean, he's getting there. His scarf's not, his scarf's ugly. Should have gave him a bow instead. I almost want to rip it off him, but I know it's not going to come off. 
Um, <coughs> now, I was going to use little, where's my little candies? Where's that jar? Chair. Um, I got the little, you know, I got smaller ones. Where are they? The little peppermints for his buttons. These are from Hobby Lobby. He's got a dent right there. I should have smoothed that out. But it's for me. I wasn't selling it. If I was selling it, no, uh, the scarf is really bad. He's got like fingers in the front. I didn't do it the way I should have. Um, I was going to do these for little buttons. I do have little, where are those? I have little red and white candy buttons in it. I don't know where they are. They're so cute. They're so cute. I think this is a little big. But I'm going to put one here. I'm just going to... Oh, i got to glow it because the clay's already drying, guys. That's how quick this stuff dries. I mean, you still got to let it cure overnight. But it, it's already dry. And so I wanted to do a red and a green. I don't know where they are. They're so cute, too. Those little candies right there would have been cute. Those are the perfect size. You can make little candies. I just didn't want to. <laughs> I ain't gonna know I'm taking way too long. So I'm just gonna stick those right here. So he's got his little button candy cane candies. And uh, Alright, and then I was just going to use model or uh, puppy paint to do his face. Now again, you can use foam clay, but we're just going to use puppy paint. And I'm just going to use... Oh, you know what we need? I'm going to do red for his nose. I don't want to do an orange carrot. We're going to do a red one. Like a red little pointy thing for his nose. I almost forgot the nose. So, it's like, you're just rolling like a little log and then making it skinnier, Jesus, making it skinnier at the tip. So, it's wider than skinnier. Flatten that back and then just shove it on his face. He's going to have a big nose just like his big hands. <laughs> Alright, and then, so it looks like that. And then I'm just going to take my puffy paint. And again, you can use your um, clay. Sorry, I almost is running from this fan. The mouse always, I'm so nervous when I paint mouse. I don't know why. I'm just going to go for it. Let me just wet this up. I'm going to do the mouth first, guys, and I'm just going to do like a regular, because I'm not that fancy with it. I, I suck at drawing things. Uh, I almost want to draw it with a pencil. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, my hand is shaking. Turn 
so cute. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I'm not going to lie. You can also do, um, like, on the... Actually, let's just do that before I end. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take a little bit of red, and I'm going to follow the white whimsical trim we just frosting we just put on. And then, I think that's all I was going to do to him. Uh, the scarf, I might, once it's dry, take that off and redo it. Because I really messed up the... I normally would make that first and stick it and then put the long part around. I don't know why I did it that way. Alright. Let's do... What did I, oh, I'm going to do a little bit of skinny red around the frosting on the bottom. That's what I call it, frosting. Not way too much. So I'm going to want this thin. I can't wait to start this week. So I'm gonna do. I was gonna do a cake into Cratchy Chicks this weekend, but then I remembered I have. What's her name? Drusilla. I forgot about Drusilla. I can't wait to do her. So I'm gonna do Drusilla, which is really Al Al Alvira. Alvira. How you say it? And Michelle, sister Shell. Um, I'm having a Gene Simmons. Kiss, um, mannequin head made. Cause I don't. Now that you mentioned that to me, I just have to do it. I got it. I'm like, I don't care if your friend wants it or not. I just got to do it. All right. So I'm just gonna follow. And this isn't long enough. But whatever. I'm gonna start in the back. And I'm just gonna follow the light. The red. So we pop some red down here. Oh, I almost made it oh. So much it makes it pop out more. Oh, he came out cute! I just gotta finish the lines in his hat. And again, he's got some bumps down here. I should have smoothed him out with the water. I just want to tip his hat. He's cute, right? Thank you, Tammy. I tried. And you can have him holding a little candy cane. Or you can you can even move his arms, like he's hugging, like hugging something, like he's holding it. But I'm just gonna stick a candy cane in his. these little candy canes from Hobby Lobby. Actually, I'm gonna like these ones better. That blue one, you know. Can you look green? I'm gonna look blue there. Have him holding something. Yeah. Hold on, let me turn towards me first. I'm trying to bend his glove. Should have did that first because it's drying. Like he's squeezing it. There he is. He's all done. It's a snowman cupcake. That's what we're calling it. He came out cute. He came out cuter than I thought he was going to, so. <laughs> but, if you guys need any um, foam clay uh, in my Etsy shop or Jean's Reef Room, make sure you seal these up nice and tight and get the air out. Thank you, Kara. You came out cute. Minus his scarf. It's got a little touch up, but again, I'm not selling it. If I was selling it, he would have been perfect. Can't sell things unless they're pretty on point. 
so I appreciate you guys joining me tonight and hanging out and everything. And I'll be live next week. And if you're into Grifty Chicks, uh, you will hear me to Saturday. <laughs> I want this. He did turn out super cute. I really didn't think he was going to. <laughs> I'm just, I don't practice enough at making, uh, I think the first time I ever made characters was uh, that bunny cake, the bunnies. And, and I just uh, took a picture of Jillianas and then kind of figured out how to make them. Um, it, but I didn't really find it too hard to make the bunnies, but I tried to do a gingy, which isn't that hard, little gingies. My problem is portion size, like the head to the body to the feet. That's what I gotta learn, is the right portions and what size things should be on stuff. But, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a gingerbread cake very soon. But I appreciate y'all joining me. I hope you all have a blessed night. I hope you all come back and see me next Wednesday. Don't forget, uh, if you want to know when I'm live, to hit that notification bell. Also, this will be uploaded to YouTube. Hi, everybody on YouTube. And it'll have all the descriptions in YouTube. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I know, we're always our worst critics, though. But I, I don't practice a lot of, like, characters with play. Not on lives, anyways. <laughs> I've done them in tutorials, but you don't see how what the struggle was. <laughs> yeah, this didn't work. We'll do something else with one of these. But I love you guys. I hope you all have a great night. Get some rest, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.